This, ladies and gentlemen, is a USB sound card. It is designed to record and play audio from your PC. This is a FireWire recording interface. Now it's designed to work with a digital audio workstation, and that's it. No YouTube, no gaming, nothing but business. You even need special drivers to control the extra bits like the internal routing and onboard mixer. And this is where Tax and Genius, also FireWire stack, enters the scene. These drivers can turn your FireWire interface into a versatile sound card. At least, that's the plan. Right now, they're a little buggy. But the question remains, can PipeWire seamlessly handle this transformation? Let's find out. Okay, for our informal experiment, I'm gonna be using the latest version of PipeWire with Debian testing. And first up is taking a look at the available profiles in Bavu Control. We have duplex, we have output, we have pro, and of course we have input. Up next, of course, is playing a YouTube video. No problems here, but I want to know if it works with the jack. So let's fire up QJack CTL and tap that start button. We get our 10 inputs and six outputs, and that's out of the box with the also drivers. Since we have jack running, let's open a Reaper session and have a look. Real-time CPU usage is a little on the high side, but nothing crazy. And we can see Reaper in the graph, so I'm gonna call this a win. But who needs jack when you have pipe wire? Let's live a little. But first, I'm gonna do a quick check to make sure we're running at 128.48K, since that's kind of my baseline for things. It looks good. So back to Reaper. Well, that didn't work. Let's switch things over to Alsa and see what happens. And that happy little accident locked up the system. We're back from the reboot and it's time for take two. Welp. Back from round three and this time let's try it with Pipewire Jack. Hey, things are moving. I can see Reaper in QP graph and it crashed again. You know what, fourth time's a charm. Let's switch Reaper over to Jack before touching anything else. Boom. We can see Reaper in QP graph, neat. Although we are seeing about twice the RTCPU usage. Moving on to round trip latency, we're getting 18 milliseconds at 128.348k, and that's using Jack with the ALSA drivers with a pipe wire. For comparison, here's Jack plus Fado on the same system without pipe wire. What about using the Fado drivers with pipe wire? Well, I spent an afternoon trying to make them work. They don't. At least not for me. If you have any tips or tricks, seriously, let me know in the comments. Let's get real about using a FireWire interface with PipeWire in the ALSA stack. It's functional. Let's just say it shares some buggy quirks with its predecessor, Pulse Audio. Crashes, higher latency, not exactly the smoothest experience. For your digital audio workstation, you're still better off sticking with a tried and true combo of Jack and Fado. But here's the thing. If you're making music or recording professionally, you already know the value of dedicated hardware. These FireWire interfaces, even released a decade ago, still hold their own in terms of audio quality. If we pull up the manufacturer's specs, yeah, the needle hasn't really moved in the last decade. And there goes my chances of ever getting review hardware. For under $30, you can grab yourself an 8-channel Beastie with MIDI and standalone functionality, perfect for practice sessions without needing a PC. Plus, you're giving pre-loved hardware a new lease on life and keeping it out of landfills. And the best part? Adding FireWire to a modern desktop PC is a breeze. Plug it in, and Linux's open source magic does the rest. And that's gonna do it for this video. Remember, you can find more tutorials and resources on interfacinglinux.com, and don't hesitate to leave your questions in the forums, but most importantly, get out there and create something awesome.